Hi, my name is David Eidosi, other certified instructor from Maya. In this video, I want to show you how you can install and use Mnine X. What, what Mnine X is, is an alternative way, is an alternative workflow for Maya. It's available for 2017, 18, and 19 release. So, what you need to do for first is uh, download this zip file from the link below and open it, of course. In this zip file, you have two elements. One of uh, one of my folder called models. The, this one is the is the is the plugin, and the other one is the user guide. So that uh, I I suggest you to read it. After that, uh, you need to locate uh, your current Maya folder configuration. In uh, Windows, you have under Documents and Maya, and after that, just need to drag and drop the models inside of it. It's so easy. Now I can open up my Maya. As you can see, I have already a configuration of Maya in this folder, so you don't need to override or change anything from your uh, for your current uh, current configuration and for your current uh, setup. After Maya is uh, is running uh, is up and running, you just need to put a code inside of the mail line. So source may nine dot mail. It's so simple. After that, uh, I press enter and uh, the installation is already done. What changed now? I have uh, had some hotkeys, I have had uh, some murky menu and almost everything is uh, contextual. I won't show you immediately how to work. If I press Z I have the control of everything so press Z, left mouse button, I have access to the current selection menu. Because I have nothing selected I actually using the uh, the Maya window marking menu. From here I can, for example, enable the anti-aliasing. By using Z and the middle mouse button I have access to all marking menu. This is a universal marking menu that you can create elements or uh, using workflow. For example, if you need a cube, you can do for here. After we have something in selection, you can use a selection marking menu. So, in this case I have a cube, a polycube, I press the left mouse button, I have my murky menu for a single mesh object. But if I duplicate it, Ctrl D, W for moving, if I select two cubes, for example, Z, left mouse button, I have a different murky menu. It's because I have selected two, uh, two elements of this. But, for example, if I create a cure, so Z, middle mouse button, go to no art, CV curve tool, can create a cube. If I select my cube and uh, and the same my cube and the, and, the, and the curve, I can press the left mouse button and have access to this menu. So, for example, I can distance my cube along the curve. It's very simple to use. Everything is contextual. A single hotkey for every every kind of marking menu. But it's not just that. I have uh, some marking menu, I've created some marking menu for tool 2, for example, if I create a sphere uh, cube and if I subdivide it, Z, left mouse button, smooth I can press Z, left mouse button, go under the brush and enable the sculpt geometry this gives me the ability to sculpt in my mesh or by pressing Z and the middle mouse button you have a contextual marking menu based on uh, the current tools as you can see, I have every every text is in italic. When the text is in italic, is a tool marking menu. When the text is standard, I have the selection marking menu. When I have, I'll quit my tool. When I have the bold marking menu, you are in the all marking menu. All right. Another thing you can do by using my 910 or my um, next is uh, as absolutely the same. You can have access to a uh, panel marking menu. For example, if I press Alt and 3, this is one of my customer uh, hotkeys, I can use Z and the left mouse button to have access to the panel marking menu. This is happening to Node Editor 2, for example, Alt and 2, Z, left mouse button, I have my uh, panel marking menu. So, this is a first way to do, to the first way to work by using Maki menu. But you can use uh, some costal, uh, contextual arcade or key too. For example, if I create a cube and select it, now I press Z and release for have access to the contextual Maki menu. In this case, I can select my multi-component mode. But 
But if I select the faces, for example, I can press Z again for come back in the in the uh, in the object mode. Um, this work on the on some panels too. For example, if I come back Alt 2 for have uh, entering into the into the um, node editor, I can select an object. For example, uh, this shape node. Press Z and release for have the frame of this network. This is a contextual hotkey inside of panels, so you can have a contextual hotkey in the in based on selection or based on the panels. This gives you a single hotkey, the Z button, to have access to a uh, wide range of uh, common uh, tasks. Another common task, for example, for is, uh, can be this one. I can create a sphere, or better, I prefer create a cube and smooth it again. Now press space to go to side view, of course. I want to skin this element, so press Z, middle mouse button, create joint, go to southwest. Select now my joints and my sphere, press Z and release. As you can see, the combination of these two elements selected automatically generate the bind skin menu by using a contextual out key. This is a very powerful way to, to use my, my items. All right. This is, a, I think, so a good overview about uh, about series release. Um, another thing, uh, another new, some new elements I have added to this next release is uh, related to to uh, to polish the, the the source code and for the the fasting. Everything is a lot more fast in this release. So I hope if you already try the old release of Menang, of Menang Pro or Menang Standard, I really hope you three try to use this one because it's very, very, it's a very massive update. Uh, every new feature of Menang 2019 is already supported, so I think so. It's very well. It's, it's, uh, I really su uh, suggest you to try this one if you already tried before Menang. So. Hope you find this app helpful and bye.